Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Anil Kamath. I am a senior consultant surgical oncologist at Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. There are different types of thyroid cancers. Now, the treatment is more or less similar for these thyroid cancers, but the outcomes may vary and the follow-up or the adjuvant treatments for these cancers may also vary. The commonest type we encounter is a, is a type called papillary carcinoma of the thyroid, which forms majority of the thyroid cancers. The other type is called follicular carcinoma of the thyroid. This cancer has more tendency to spread by blood to bones and can produce symptoms because of spread to far off areas. The third type is called medullary carcinoma of the thyroid. This cancer is important because it has a higher, somewhat higher chance of having a familial tendency that we can have in about 10 to 15 percent of the cases, medullary cancers can be present in multiple members of the family. And uh, the last type is called anaplastic carcinoma of the thyroid, which uh, luckily for us forms a minority because this is a highly aggressive type of uh, thyroid cancer, which cannot be effectively treated. What exactly is the thyroid gland? Thyroid is a small gland which is found in the neck in front of the uh, windpipe. So this gland is responsible for the production of the thyroid hormone. Now the thyroid hormone is a very essential organ and it is responsible for, uh, it is mainly required to maintain the metabolic rate of the patient. And without this uh, thyroid hormone, the person starts uh, 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 becoming uh, loses his activity he uh, become starts becoming less active and starts gaining weight and uh, develop symptoms of what we call hypothyroidism now thyroid is also one of the organs which can be affected uh, by cancer thyroid cancer is one of the most curable cancers uh, uh, among the different types of cancers so it is uh, highly uh, imperative that uh, we detect thyroid cancer at a, at a very early stage. Like I said earlier, most thyroid cancers are asymptomatic or do not produce any symptom. And the only way it is noticed is uh, in the form of a nodule in the, or a swelling in the neck. So uh, for early detection, it is required that any lady or any male with the swelling in the neck, especially in the midline, needs to meet the doctor at least once for evaluation of this swelling. More, like I said earlier also, most of the swellings are harmless and uh, it, uh, it can be just a, what we call a goiter, which may not give any uh, problems to the patient. But it is required that at least once they get evaluated so that a possibility of thyroid can be ruled out. And it is very important that the patient does this because this cancer when treated is a highly curable one.